Did you know that in the state of Florida, up to two vehicles can be transferred outside of the probate process right down at the DMV? Yeah, that's true. Don't need probate if you have two vehicles or less. Now, some folks at the DMV are not the brightest bulbs in the pack, and so you may be able to get away with transferring things like RVs or mobile homes. And why is that odd? Well, the statute says specifically that up to two vehicles for daily use or daily um, transportation. Typically, RVs and certainly mobile homes are not used for daily transportation. However, they do have titles down at the state of Florida DMV. I wouldn't risk it, but I have seen several occasions where the folks down at the DMV will just uh, charge you the $80 or so title transfer fee and go ahead and transfer the titles. But again, I wouldn't recommend it. The two vehicle rule obviously applies very easily if you do not have a lien on the vehicle. So if your cars are paid off, your um, Beneficiaries will take your will down to the DMV and show it to them. And if you don't have a will, then uh, they will fill out a small estate affidavit that basically says they are attesting uh, under oath that they are entitled to the vehicle as your next of kin. Again, about an $80 title transfer fee, and they will uh, receive title to your vehicle. If you have a lien on the vehicle, different story. The beneficiary will need to contact the loan company or the bank, financial institution, make arrangements to refinance the vehicle in their own name. And then uh, the title transfer can happen once the vehicle is paid off. So I hope this helps. If you have more than two vehicles, think about getting a trust because we can do uh, multiple vehicles in a trust or an LLC. Um, I love Montana LLCs for vehicles because they offer some asset protection, they offer anonymity, and no sales tax on vehicles in the state of Montana. That one is a home run. I'll do some more videos on that. Thanks a lot and have a great day.